everybody and thanks for joining me today um, during this 30 minute yoga stretch class. Um, let's go ahead and start, we're going to start in butterfly position today. So bring the bottoms of your feet together and then you're going to slowly start to bring your ankles in a little bit closer in towards your body. Sit up nice and straight here. If you have a hard time keeping your low back straight, that's okay. Um, just grab, if you've got a yoga block, sit on your yoga block or pillow. And um, if you have some length under you, it might help with that. So let's take this time to connect with our breath. Go ahead and close your eyes. Slowly start to elongate each inhale. And then your, with your exhale, try and match the length to your inhale. Slowly start to maybe add one or two counts to each breath. And eventually coming to find each breath three, to five counts long. Let's take a few more moments here. Ujjayi breathing, go ahead and start your Ujjayi breath here now, creating a soft wave noise with the back of your throat. Let's take one more big inhale here, find length in your spine, and on your exhale, we're going to come to lay on our backs. Keeping our feet together, we're going to come to a supine butterfly. Still staying connected with our breath here. Just let gravity push your knees open here. Let gravity do the work for you. Rest your hands on your sides, on your belly, or you can place them on your knees, putting a little bit of pressure on your knees, helping them to open up a little bit more. Allow yourself to relax here, letting go of any stress that you might be carrying with you. Just dedicate this time to yourself. Take one more big inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, bring your knees all the way up and then hug them into your chest. You can rock it out here from side to side. Giving yourself a little bit of a low back massage. And I've got two options for you. You can slowly start to help yourself all the way up to tabletop, or you can start to bring a roll to yourself using momentum to come all the way up to seated. But maybe do a few rocks here. Again, just rolling out your spine, letting go of tension, and then finally coming all the way up, coming to tabletop position here. Find a nice, strong tabletop. You want your knees about hip distance apart, and you want your wrists right below your shoulders here. Spread your fingers wide. Take a big inhale, and on your exhale, we're gonna drop our head and our hips, arching our spine up towards the ceiling. And on your inhale, we're gonna articulate back, coming to cow. Exhale, articulate to cat, moving with your breath. Inhale, cow. 
on, exhale, cat. Let's move through this three more times, inhaling and exhaling. One more big inhale and exhale, come to a neutral spine. Let's warm up our bodies here. So again, spread your fingers wide and on your next inhale, we're gonna raise our left leg straight out of the guard hip hop socket. Flex those toes down towards the mat and when you're balanced and ready, we're going to inhale, raise our right arm straight up. Reaching out in front of us. Engage your abdominal muscles here. Warm up our core. You want to imagine a nice straight line from the middle of your right finger through your body all the way down through your left heel. Let's take one more big inhale. And exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Hold it here. Engage your core. One more exhale and inhale, reach it out. Moving with your breath now on your exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach it out. And exhale, elbow to knee, good. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Moving through this two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And drop it down. Go ahead and press it back. You can come to a regular child pose with your knees together, or you can open up your knees to the sides of your mat and press back in child pose. Allow your head to drop down to your mat. Resting your forehead on the mat, maybe rolling your head from side to side, giving yourself a little bit of a forehead massage here. Press into your mat and try and press your tailbone down closer towards your toes. One more big inhale and exhale on your next inhale, coming back up to tabletop. We're going to move through those movements on the opposite side now. So on your next inhale, we're going to raise our right leg up. Find your balance, spread your fingers wide. Exhale, and on your next inhale, we're going to raise our left arm up. Hold it here. Imagine your straight line. Engage those abs. One more big inhale and exhale, elbow to knee, hold it here. Engage your core. Keep, pull your abs in. One final exhale and on your next inhale, reach it back out, moving with one breath now. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, and inhale, exhale. One more big inhale, and drop down on your exhale. All right, we're gonna take our right hand, and we're gonna weave it under our left, reaching over to the left side of the room. Reach your left arm out over your head, straighten out your left arm and then gaze under your left shoulder. Feeling a nice stretch in the right side of your body, along your back. Just go ahead and relax here. Inhale on your next inhale. We're going to come all the way back 
back up to our tabletop position. And then we're gonna switch to the opposite side. So take your left hand now, reach it under your right, and then slowly lower down, straightening out your right arm and gazing under your right shoulder. Stay connected with your breath here. Relax into this posture and allow yourself to enjoy this stretch in the left side of your body now. Let's take one more big inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, press yourself back up to our tabletop position. We're gonna come down onto our heels here. And if you have a block or a box, place it out in front of you slightly. You can probably use a pillow here as well. We're gonna bring our hands to prayer and then place our elbows on our pad, whatever we're using, and then allow your head to drop down through your arms. And you're gonna feel this stretch in the backs of your arms here. So go ahead and lower down into that, that position. And then what you're gonna do is you can keep your arms, your hands where they are, or if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can bring those hands in closer towards the back of your neck. Relax here. Stay connected with your breath. Take a few more moments in this position. One last space. Inhale and exhale. Drop your lifts. And on your inhale, slowly start to come up. Move your prop out of the way. Beautiful. We're going to inhale our right leg straight out behind us and then bring it through coming to a low lunge. Let me show you what this is gonna look like on the side. So we wanna open it up. If you have to come to a high lunge to find your placement, that's okay. Do what you have to do, but we wanna make sure that our ankle is right below our knee here. We wanna make sure that our leg, our shin is creating a nice perpendicular line with our mat. So find your position here, take your time, and then slowly start to find stillness in this low lunge, allowing your hips to drop a little bit lower towards the mat. Take your time here. Again, really focus on your breath. That's really gonna help you in any of these uncomfortable positions. Help your muscles to relax. Take one more moment here. If you're happy in this position, you can stay here in this position, or if you'd like, on your next inhale, we're gonna bring our hands up to that front knee, bringing our most of our weight right over our hips, allowing them to drop a little bit lower towards the mat. Breathe into anywhere that might be feeling tight in this posture. We want to be loose here. I've got one more modification for you. Again, you can stay right here if you're happy here, or on your next inhale, we're gonna raise our arms up over our head. Gaze up at the ceiling, give me an inhale, and exhale, one more big inhale, and exhale, let's drop it down. And again, you can press it back to a wide leg child's pose. One more big inhale. 
on your next inhale, we're gonna come all the way back up to our tabletop. Spread your fingers wide, and inhale, raise your left leg. We're gonna move through that on the opposite side. Exhale, bring that foot forward. Press up to your high lunge to find your positioning here. You can use your hand to pull that knee up. But we wanna make sure that our ankle is still right below our, our knee here. So find your position and then find stillness in this posture, allowing your hips to drop lower towards the mat. Take your time here and allow yourself to really enjoy this stretch. on the other side. You can stay here if you're happy here. Or on your next inhale, we're going to bring our hands to our front knee, allowing our hips to drop a little bit lower. With each inhale, find length in your spine. And with each exhale, we want to roll those shoulders down away from our ears and allow our hips to drop a little bit lower towards the mat. Again, stay here if you're happy here. Or on your next inhale, we're going to raise our hands up over our head. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, relax those shoulders. One more big inhale. And exhale, let's press it back to child's pose. Take a moment here. Relax. And again, stay connected with your breath. Take one more moment here. Give me one last big inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, we're going to tuck our toes under and press our hips back, coming to our first down dog. Take a moment here. You can pedal it out, bending one knee at a time. Allow those hamstrings to really loosen up here. Take whatever movement your body needs and then find stillness here in your down dog. You want to find that nice introverted V. We're working on getting our heels down towards the mat. And it's better to have bent knees than to have an arched spine. So remember that when you're in your down dog. You want to have a nice flat back here. Give me one final exhale. And on your next inhale, we're going to raise our right leg right up. And then bring it through. Use your hand if you need to pull that ankle up right underneath your knee. And then we're going to come to our low lunge again, dropping our left knee down. We're going to bring our right hand on the inside of our right leg. And then you've got a few options here. You can bring a bend in your elbows, just lowering down low enough to where you feel the stretch. You can grab onto your pillow, your block, or a box, and bring your elbows onto your, your cushion here. Or if you're a little bit more flexible than you'd like, you can remove the props and come all the way down onto the mat. Spend some time here. Really open up those hips and focus on your breath. Allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper into the stretch with every exhale.
I guess one more moment here. One last final exhale. Inhale, go ahead and straighten your arms out here, remove your prop. And then we're going to bring that front knee back. And you can either press it back to child's pose or you can find an active recovery here in down dog. Take a moment here. Stay connected with your breath. If you're in child's pose, press up to down dog. And on your next inhale, we're going to raise our left leg. And exhale, bring it through. Help your foot all the way up there. We want our ankle right underneath our knee. Draw that right knee down. And then we're going to bring the left hand on the inside of the left foot. Find your balance here. Find your position. And when you're ready, you're going to lower down to wherever it is you were on the other side. Whether that be the mat, a block, or just with bent elbows. sort of abdominal workout that you've done, 
or if your chest is feeling tight, this will be a great stretch for you. to staff position with our legs straight out in front of us and our feet flexed. So you've got an option here. You can sit if you've got like a little towel or a pillow. You can sit with it right under your hips here to give yourself a little bit of a lift. So that'll help for you to keep your back straight. Take an inhale. Find a nice straight spine. And on your exhale, we're going to slowly start to lower ourselves down over our legs. Slowly coming to reach towards our toes. And let your head drop. And allow yourself to relax here and stretch. face right over your left leg here. Inhale, find length, drop those shoulders down, and exhale, we're going to slowly start to lower ourselves again over our left foot. Reach for your toes, grab onto your shins or ankles. Be mindful to where your body's at and allow yourself to be comfortable there. center of our legs. So take a moment. Again, we're going to inhale, find length. Exhale, roll those shoulders away. We're going to bring our left hand on the inside of our left leg. And then reach back with your right hand, opening up our chest. And as we move into this next posture, we want to try and maintain this nice open chest. So it's not really about how low you can go. It's just about still maintaining a nice open chest. So inhale, find length, and then exhale, we're going to slowly start to reach up over our head and over towards our left toes. Feeling a nice stretch in our, leg, our left leg and a nice opening stretch on the right side of our body. flexed here. Keep that leg active. One last big inhale. Exhale, bring that elbow into your body and slowly start to come all the way up. Good job. Before we move on to the other side, I've got one more stretch I want to do. You've got two options here. So you can come to a comfortable, nice seated position, bringing your right foot in first and then your left. Or, if you'd like, we're going to make a parallel structure with our legs. So bringing that right ankle out and then placing our left ankle right on top of our right knee. And then you can see here that I've created a nice parallel structure with my shins. So this is going to already, before I even start to go down over my legs, I'm feeling the stretch in my hips. So wherever you are, we're going to inhale, find length, and then exhale. Again, slowly start to lower yourself over your legs, find 
a comfortable place and then come to relax here. Feel this nice opening stretch in your hips. You might feel this in your back as well. Just remember to utilize your breath here and allow yourself to relax in these postures. We're gonna take one more big inhale and exhale on your next inhale. Slowly start to walk your hands back in. And then we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So we're gonna bring our left foot in, bringing the bottom of our left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Bring your torso to face right over your right leg. Flex those toes back towards your nose. Inhale, find length. And exhale, we're gonna lower ourselves down over our right foot. Again, placing our hands on our shin, on your ankle, or reaching for those toes. One more big inhale and exhale. And on the next inhale, we're gonna slowly come all the way back up. Okay, opening up here, we want our torso to face directly toward, uh, down the center. So we're gonna place our right hand on the inside of our right leg. Inhale, find length. And then exhale, we're gonna reach back with our left hand. Again, maintaining this nice open chest that we've just created. Give me one more big inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna lower down over our right leg. Keep those feet flexed. And allow yourself to relax into this nice side stretch. Now feeling the stretch in the left side of our body and slightly in the right leg. more big inhale exhale bring that elbow into your body and slowly start to come all the way up beautiful all right for our final stretch here we're gonna bring our feet together coming into a butterfly again so we're gonna bring those ankles into wherever we're comfortable I've got a few options for you if this is at all uncomfortable in your hips or knees take two pillows or two blocks or whatever you've got place them under your knees for a little bit of support if your hips are a little bit tight and you're having a hard time maintaining a straight back and find that you're kind of rounding, that's okay. You could take that pillow or block and place it right under your butt here, giving yourself a little bit of length. Or if you're a little bit more flexible and you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can bring a block underneath your feet. And what we're going to do, wherever you are, inhale, find length. And then exhale, slowly start to lower yourself down over your legs. If you've got something underneath your feet, you're gonna weave your hands underneath your arms and grab onto it. Inhale and exhale, slowly start to use it as leverage to pull yourself down a little bit lower. Relax here. Maintain your nice deep breath. So this posture is not only a great hip opener, it's great for circulation of your blood to help your blood flow a little bit freer. It's a great stress reliever. And it really, really helps for women during their menstrual cycle. Allow yourself to relax here. You can drop your head.
you spend a few more moments in this position. Take one more big inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, slowly roll yourself all the way up from vertebrae to time. If you've got a block underneath you or your feet, Move it over to the side. Keep the bottoms of your feet together. And we're going to slowly start to lower down onto our backs. Coming to supine butterfly or goddess pose. Allow your hips to drop open. We're going to spend a few moments here relaxing. You can stay the entire time here in supine butterfly. You can straighten out your legs, lay your arms out to the side for palm spacing out, and come to our final relaxation. start to bring life back to your body. Wiggle your toes and fingers. When you're ready, you can roll around to your right side, spending a moment here. Preparing yourself to come all the way back up. Dedicating 30 minutes to yourselves. You deserved it. Namaste.